These are the components to perform the iodine 131 MIBD therapy using the curling 6000 infusion pump set. All these items are off the shelf from various vendors with the exception of the curling pump and the 86 inch infusion set which can only be obtained from curling. First step is to assemble the vent unit. That is done first taking the millipore filter and the charcoal filter and a needle. The finished kit will look like that. Uh, there's only one way to assemble that correctly, uh, so there is no way to make a mistake. Next step is making the apparatus that will connect to the MIBD therapy vial. Uh, first, you will need the four-way stopcock and a saline flush. The next item is the 12-inch male-male tubing. And we will also need a three-and-a-half-inch spinal needle. The completed kit will look something like this. So once the kit is partly assembled, the next step is to connect the 86 inch tubing from the curling pump uh, to the four-way stopcock. The next step is to bleed the lines of all air uh, before connecting it to the pump. First step is to bleed the side that is going to go into the MIBG vial, and that's the one with the three and a half inch needle. The next step is to bleed the entire line that will eventually be connected to the patient. Cap the end to make sure that a septic technique is followed. Now we're ready to connect the infusion set to the pump. First, make sure that the tubing goes through the notch on the clasp. And then align the blue tab with the blue arrow on the pump and press. Next, bring the line around and put the yellow tab into the yellow hole and close the clasp. It should close very easily if everything is correct. And then check the back end to make sure that the line has not been pinched with the clasp. Now we're ready to perform the infusion. We use a specially made shielded cart in order to do the therapy and move the vials from the hot lab to the infusion room. First step is to swab the vial and the shield with an alcohol prep pad. The next step is to insert the vent at an angle, only about halfway down the needle, making sure that it does not touch the liquid surface. 
next also at an angle is to insert the three and a half inch needle going towards the bottom of the vial making sure it hits the bottom and then using the one of the needle covers angle the shield to make sure that the needle is at the bevel end. The patient needs to have a previously running infusion line at uh, 5 mLs per hour either through a PIV or through a port. Next, connect the 86 inch microbore tubing coming from the curling pump to the last T connector on the IV line. While it's still running at 5 mLs per hour, do not change the infusion rate on the saline line that the pump is connected to. We're now ready to start the infusion. Okay, next we will show how to infuse two vials in tandem. Uh, this can be done with up to three vials at the same time, but we're only going to show two. First is to swab the vials with the alcohol prep pad and then the shield top. Next is to insert the vent into the first vial. You will only need one vent regardless of how many vials you're going to put together. Next is to take the long three and a half inch spinal needle and insert it into the first vial using the 12 inch tubing the other end will have a one and a half inch uh, 20 gauge or 22 gauge uh, needle insert that about halfway down so take the previously primed 12 inch line connected to the three and a half inch needle and the stopcock and insert it into the last vial. Then angle the shield so that the tip of the needle is at the bottom edge. Set the four way stopcock so that the line is clear to flow once the pump starts. Now we're ready to connect the 86 inch microbore tubing to the patient. All right, once the valves are connected, we'll be ready to start the pump. Uh, one of the things that we do in order to uh, make the math simple is we QS all the vials to 30 ml. So in this particular case we have two vials for a total of 60 ml which we're going to infuse over 90 minutes. So in that case we would set the pump at 40 ml per hour. Okay, follow the instructions for setting up and priming the pump and once that is done, uh, set the rate at 40 mLs per hour if the 60 mLs are going to be infused over 90 minutes. Once the pump is running, the fluid will be pulled. Uh, MIBG is not a colored substance. We have colored it here in order to see how this works. And as you can see, it is now starting to pull from both vials and that the line that was 
not prying before is now um, air is being expelled into the other vial through the vent. We prime the lines with saline in order to work with the system while it's cold. Uh, an orthodox method is to prime the 86 inch line uh, with the MIBD through the pump, uh, but doing that will make you have to work with a hot line.